Hey what's up guys, it's Roy and in this video we'll be showing you how to make a, a ladder out of paracord. The spot I want to get into today, uh, the access point is through the ceiling where there's a big hole in the ceiling. So I made about a 50 foot ladder and at the end of the video you'll see uh, me making that. But first we shall test out the ladder, see if it works. I just kind of winged it. I'm also relying on the fact that I can climb a normal rope if I want to. So if a rung of the ladder breaks, I can just climb it like a rope because it's four strands of paracord. Anyways, let's jump right into it. This door up here is totally just unlocked and open. Actually, physically open. But this is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Living in a time where disease is on every screen. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak. No mercy. All I got is working. Never stop searching. Never quench the thirsty. I'm toxic and psychotic for this life. I love how a lot of rooms are just connected. Oh. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, so there's a cop that just drove. Okay, the other spot I don't like because it's too close to the front doors. This one, I'm partially visible from the road, but I'm going to deploy in the ladder. Okay, here we go. If that wasn't my car, I guess I could have been there. Let's see how we do here.
as you can see they're gutting the building this was uh, Publix it's kind of crazy to test something out like in the conditions that my life depends on it working Who knew there was upstairs in here? I left my phone at home. Oops. Let's see, I got everything charging. Okay, well, that's about it. I guess uh, I'll make my way out. Oh, it's even a gate. Cool. What the fuck? What? I'm a moron. <laughs> oh dear gosh. The entire reason I made that ladder was so that I, w I can get in. <laughs> I'm a moron. <laughs> My gosh. On top of that, the good steps were at the bottom. I should have put them at the top where I knew I would need them. Way. <laughs> I already tested it. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Roy back here with another video. Today, I'm going to be making a ladder. Okay, so um, the idea is that. Um, I want about a 50 foot ladder to climb down from somewhere. I'm not worried about up. Um, so I want about 50 feet. Um, so I went ahead and got some tubing and I checked it and the paracord goes through it. Okay. And then I got 200 feet of paracord and um, an extra 50 feet for the foot part. We want to take some cord, right? So we take some cord and we run it through and this will be our rung to step on. So this is not the best paracord. Um, it's not meant for, it's not meant for anyone but me and Leaf. So I don't have to worry about it being too high quality. So I'm gonna melt the end a little bit. 
So that'll secure the end. Okay. Um, these are for the ends to wrap around, and then this will hook it to itself. Um, okay, so how long do I want this? All right, I'll cut it about here. Might be better to use scissors, but I don't. I have scissors. All right, so I tied one knot. I am not entirely sure, not entirely sure what type of knot would be the best for this. So I'm gonna do what I do know how to do, which is seed all these cords with the orange rope so that I'll be ready to tie the knots when I figure out which type of knot I'm gonna use and which type I'm not gonna use. Um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna lay out the yellow cord and then double it back on itself so it'll be 50 feet and then I'm just gonna lay these out and see what we got. Let's move down the, the ladder. Um, I would be content with this being less than 50 feet um, but I would like it to be somewhere around um, I don't know somewhere around 30 feet so I can take a big step. I'm not too worried about big steps. So this will be my step. Um, okay. So what I want to do is I want to wrap the knot in such a way that the yellow knot is putting pressure on the orange knot and the orange knot is putting pressure on the other knot. Okay, let's give this a little bit more rope. There we go. Okay. So, I would say that's successful. Uh, the worst thing that happens is I fall. Yeah, I'm young. I'm young. Okay. Let's get a couple more of these. All right. Let's make another one. How about this far? Okay. I should have taken note of how I did that. I like that knot. Okay. Interestingly, Mathematical knots are much different than regular knots. Um, I don't know what it is with mathematicians, but they have weird ideas about knots. Um, no, my cats, dude. Cats, dude, seriously. Stop it! Okay. Dude. Dude, not cool. Zuko. <laughs> Come on, Zuko. We named the cat Zuko. And apparently it's a... Ah, stop! Apparently it's a girl. So, it's not Prince Zuko. It's Princess Zuko. Alright, so I tied him up. We got each one here um, tied. Goes all the way around and loops back a little bit. Okay, so now the plan is to take the other side of the rope and tie it to it. So this one, I'm still debating whether it will be the first or the last. Either way, not a big deal. I'm gonna take the other end of the rope so where's that? Right here. Okay. And I'm going to begin attaching the second side. And I did these all at variable distances, so it might be a little challenging. But we'll figure it out. We'll get them all tied. And then we'll see what we got. At this point, we have the ladder laid out across the house. Um, both sides are tied. And we follow it. We follow it, each one has a rung. And then at a certain point I ran out of things, so I've been double stranding these. And um, 
these will be a little bit more difficult but this this will be at the bottom I guess um, so only a few more to do and then I might try to reinforce the yellow with my other cord um, and that should be about it all right so as you can see um, let me widen this out. All right, so each area, I took the second rope and looped it around. Here, I, I went a little bit harder with some real knots. And then at the top, I knotted them together. And then um, put this on. This will be the securing um, points for the beam. Um, all right. So I'm going to fix that one spot. And then let's look at the bottom here. So since I looped it around so many times, it didn't go to the bottom. Um, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I think one should be strong enough to hold me, but it's okay. I used two. So let's see how it works. I figure I ought to check my surroundings more. Make sure that there's not an easy way in. Gosh darn it. Secondly, the acrylic tubing was a genius idea. And that worked amazing. Um, at Walmart, they didn't have acrylic tubing. I had already bought that for something else. Um, so, if you're doing this at home, acrylic tubing is the way to go. Very easy. And um, I was able to slip my foot in underneath my other foot, so it was already spread wide, so I could step right down on the next part. Okay, so first thing I learned to check. Second thing acrylic tubing there was a third thing but uh, yeah acrylic tubing is great Should probably check first anyways um, that's all uh, please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye